Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to another rare plant haul. Now then, this isn't actually the video that I had planned for you guys this week, but I've I've been doing some stuff this week, put it this way. I've been very, very busy. Luckily though, I do have quite a few new plants in that I don't think I've had any of them before, have I? No, these are all very, very new. Most of them fall under a common theme, which is essentially long boys. So I have some long boys to show you today, and I'm quite excited because some of these I knew about, some of them I didn't. Some of these are just like, what the hell is that? I also have a, a random collocasia to show you that I mentioned on last week's video as well. So without further ado, I'm just going to get into it. Now, I can't necessarily remember all of the names for these. So if I get them wrong, just trust what's on the screen, basically, because that will be correct. Before we start, I want to show you my Halloween merch. I I have this really cool pumpkin right here on my left boob with the Rare Plant Shop logo on it and on the back. It has the Rare Plant Shop in the usual fashion, except it is in orange. I hope you can see that because I cannot. So if you're interested in picking this up, it's in exactly the same sizes as all the other merch that I have. I will link that down below for you if you're curious. Let's get this boy out of the way first because he's not a long boy, but I'll tell you what he is. So this is a plant that I actually got for my birthday very recently from Ben, and I'd wanted one of these for quite a while. Now this is actually a Colocasia Black Magic. I'll show it up to the camera because you may notice straight away that it is not actually black at all. So apparently the factors that affect these plants are, I think it's either light or heat or both. So basically they should have super black leaves, but it doesn't because it hasn't been in, you know, an area particularly hot or light, I guess. Even though, to be honest, it's getting quite a bit of light in here. Now I have had it kind of on the floor down there, just acclimating kind of away from everything else. It's absolutely spotless, but as you may be able to see, it's quite green. So I can't really show you it in all its glory, but I think what I will do is, as soon as I get it to turn like, you know, big and black and sexy, I will show you it again. So I'll either stick it in a haul or I'll show you it on a repot with me or something like that. Just so you can follow how it goes. If you're not aware of how these work, you might potentially be under the impression you're being catfished. That's not true. It just needs a certain amount of light or heat. So that's it. I can't show you anything else because that's him. He's very wobbly. I think he does actually need watering. Yeah, he does definitely need watering. I will put him there. Hopefully he is fine. He's a bit droopy, actually. Give me a second, I'm going to water him. So that was my Colocasia Black Magic, except it's not very magic at the minute and it's not very black, but I will let you know how it goes. Right, now we are into the sort of long boy section. So I have so many long boys, I don't know which one to pick. And they're all kind of impressive in their own way. They're, oh, they, they're kind of similar, actually. Right, I'm going to pick something up. It's not quite a long boy, it's just a weird boy. So this was sold to me as a like a Billetai Aff or something like that, a Billetier. You know what I mean. I can never pronounce that right. Um, but it, it's not, it's clearly not. I'm not actually sure what it is, so I guess if you think you've got an ID for it, great. But I don't think people generally know what this is. I don't think this is a known plant with the wrong ID, if that makes sense. This is more of an obscure one. Let me just grab it so we can talk about it while we look at it. Okay, I'm gonna have to stand back with this because honestly, one, it's dripping, and two, it's actually quite large. So this here was indeed sold to me as a kind of Billy Thai, Billy Etier, but it's, it's obviously not, guys. I mean, I can't tell you how much it isn't. It looks so much like an anthurium to me, it's not even funny. Let me just show you that up close, because it is weird. Check it. Look at that. On the back, if I try and show you that as well, hopefully it won't try and focus on me, because I have no control of it at the minute. I don't have my monitor with me. That's it on the back. This is the way that it climbs, because it is a climber, like such. It's just this really big, bizarre plant. I don't really know what it is. There is something that it does remind me of, though. If you guys remember, oh my God, how long ago was it? I had a picture on my Instagram of when I picked up a kind of unknown philodendron. I think I called it like philodendron SP01 unknown or something like that on my Instagram. I think I sold a couple as well as kind of like no IDs. It reminds me of that, but more mature. So I don't know if it's actually the same plant. This is just picked up from somebody else a couple of years later and it's more mature. I don't know. It's so hard to explain to you, but it just feels like an anthurium. But it is a philodendron? At least I assume it's a philodendron. It's really quite bizarre. It does grow quickly, though, I can tell you that. It's pushed this out real fast since arriving. Obviously, it's smaller. Let me show you the new leaf. On its way out, so it's not looking absolutely iconic, but it's pretty good. And then this is one of the existing leaves. I'll do a quick head test so you can see how large these are, because sometimes it's not obvious. There you go, that's how big it actually is. 
So yeah, I can't tell you very much about it. How many times I've said that on this channel? I don't think it's anything to do with Billetai personally. If you know what it is or if you've seen someone else with one and you think, oh, hey, this is the same plant, let me know in the comments because I just don't really know anything. Obviously, I'll grow it for a bit and start propagating it. And then hopefully by the time it's ready to go, we know what it is, I guess, because it is cool. And I think if you like this kind of anthurium, because there's a lot of anthurium that look like this, I can't name any off the top of my head. But I think if you like that kind of thing, but you don't like the idea of looking after an anthurium, then this is quite a good one. Plus, it's clearly getting just cool ears with age. If you look at the older leaves, which would be these ones here. Is it going to show you? This super, super juvenile one here. And then if you look at what it's kind of at now, that's kind of awesome, right? So it might even get even more ears on it. Who knows? So it's a very good one to watch, but I can't tell you what it is. We're just going to have to take it for what it is at the minute, which is just an unknown philodendron. So that's him. I'm going to pop him down. Not that he's heavy. He's actually quite right. He's sat in moss at the minute. Right. Another long boy. I wasn't kidding. So this is, I think I've got this written down, actually. This is apparently philodendron bonnie fa fazii. I don't know. Um, something like that. Never heard of it in my entire life. It reminds me a little bit of a philodendron bicolor, but just longer petioles. This is a new leaf. It's not long popped, I think. Yeah, that's new as hell, isn't it? Yeah, that's come out with me, you can tell. See if I can show you the leaf. Very, very long. If you want to know how long said leaf is, I will show you here so you get a good idea. It's probably about as long as my hair, really. Somewhere about that region. I don't know if there's much interest for this. I think I'm at the point with this one where I just, you know, I've got it because it's just different. Do you know what I mean? It's nice to try different things. For example, I feel like the previous plant would be of more interest to people than this one would. If you disagree with that, obviously let me know down below. I do think there are better long boys than this in this haul. Me personally, if I was going to choose one, there's definitely one coming up that I think a lot of people would like. Maybe even two. So this one, I'm not going to linger on because it's not my favorite. It was just bought because it's a case of, uh, well, what is that? Do you know what I mean? To be honest, most of these are, what is that? But that's him anyway, just a really big long belt-like kind of leaves. I mean, this one's pretty, it's not bad, is it? So yeah, what was that? Philodendron Bonnie, Bonnie Fazii. Something along those lines, assuming it's the right idea, of course. So yeah, really weird long belt-like philo. Can't really say much else other than that. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? Right, I'm going to have to start standing further and further back now. I can probably stand in between the leaves. That's probably quite nice, isn't it? So, I believe this to be, <laughs> is it Anthurium, um, is it SP Morona? Again, apologies, I don't have the tag in this, but I will give you the correct name down below, or at least the correct name as I know it right now. Obviously, in the case of other plants, if I don't know it, I don't know it. I believe this is Anthurium SP Morona. So, I'll show you it close up because it's kind of awesome. It reminds me a lot of a Philodendron Patriciae, um, which is kind of nice because they are a nightmare to keep and I'm not sure this one is because I've taken this in maybe a week something like that and it hasn't done anything it hasn't even turned yellow it's kind of just chilling to be honest so I don't suspect I'm going to have too many problems with it I'll show you up close though because it's kind of awesome and I do see so much Patricia in this that's kind of the appeal for me it's really long by the way I don't know if you can actually see how long that is. It's quite good. It's quite a sizable plant. Now, apparently, um, a friend told me the other day that the way to tell a real one, because there are a couple that are going around that are similar or something like that, is that the petioles are D-shaped. Um, I could probably show you that they are D-shaped by showing you this portion here, because I think this part of the petiole is facing the camera. So if you can hopefully see that, this part here where I'm rubbing my thumb is flat, and then the rest of the plant is uh is rounded so that is apparently a real one i didn't know that there were ones that were similar but aren't so this is a genuine one i think um i don't know how easy these are to get honestly I, I don't know much about them this was done again on a whim i feel like it is something that people would want like personally i quite like belt like you know anthuriums and things like that like i love anthurium batari folium if this stays like this and it grows like this, this could be a new favorite of mine because it's really, really thick and leathery. I actually like it more than my big bill, which you can't see, but it's up top of one of the shelves, which has grown like mad, by the way. Um, so I like it more than that on appearance. We'll see how quickly it grows because it might be slow, it might be quick, um, it might die because I only have one of these. We'll see, but I really like this. It's Again, it's all down to these leaves here and how awesome they look. Look at that. 
It's a great thumbnail, is it not? It's just like, hey, look at me all the way up the thumbnail. Here's the other leaf as well, if you want to know, because I think that's a bit smaller. And that's him, really. I'll not linger on him too long, because he's just two leaves of awesomeness, but he's very, very large, as you can see. And I love him. He is one of my favorites in this haul. I think uh, I've got two more that are like my joint favorites as well, which I'll show you them now. This here is more of the same thing, more long boys. So this here is, I think it's Philodendron Heterocraspidon, and I really like this. Now, when I got this in, I assumed this was going to be something that was basically going to fall to bits in three days, but it actually hasn't at all. It hasn't budged, and honestly, I'm quite surprised. It just has this look about it that says, I'm going to just turn to mush and just drop all my leaves. It hasn't done it. So I'm going to show you this, because I'm going to tip it up. I've got, literally, I'm getting water all over the table, and myself. I'm going to tip this up and show you it. Hopefully you can see it close up, because it's so pretty, guys. I can't even tell you. It's got this lovely ribbing down the front. Not the same as the last one, the Anthurium. It is a bit different. And again, another leaf there that's easy to show you too. It's really, really nice. It is a climber, and the internodes, you can probably tell here. Hopefully it will show you. The internodes are quite you know, large, so it's probably a good propagator in terms of, you know, rotting. You've got some leeway there if something happens. But it's kind of cool. It also does look a bit anthurium -y. It's one of those things where I feel like the petioles, as soon as it, you know, the insertion on the leaf, as soon as it meets the leaf, it just looks a bit anthurium -y to me. But I really like this, and this is one of my favourites. Honestly, I don't know how well it's going to come off on camera, but I this might be one that looks better in real life, because in real life it's really pretty. I'll give you another look there so you can see. It is very, very, very beautiful, I have to say. Again, reminds me a little bit of like, not a Patriciae, but that kind of vibe, and I'm kind of into it at the minute. I think that's really nice. I think plants like this on a shelf are really good if you are, you know, you're bored of your hanging plants. I've said this a lot before about pendulous anthuriums. I think they give a really nice, just different flavor to a plant shelf if you want something with verticality to it that hangs down. I really, really like this plant, and I think it's going to grow okay. And that's because I've had it a week and it hasn't changed. Now, never say never, because I've said this before and then things have just died. But I think it's doing really, really well. Leaves are paper thin, by the way. But I, it just doesn't seem to have an effect on it, to be honest. There is white on the undersides of leaf, by the way, if you can see that. It's, it's old pesticide. It's not mealy or anything like that. Yeah, it's a nice plant, that, isn't it? One last head test there, so you can see how big this is. And I'm pretty sure, by the way, that these leaves get like really long. I'm not sure how long, but way longer than this. Because if you look at this, if you think about this, this isn't a super big philodendron right now. He's quite small. So I anticipate he might get very sexy. I think he's going to have to go on a pole, maybe, and then just be up a height. I'll have to kind of work out what to do with him because it's a little bit, it gets a bit difficult once you do this. I feel like I'll have to put him on a pole, but also put him on a top shelf to keep him out of the way. I'll let you know what I do with him and I'll let you know how it goes as with everything. If this turns out to be a difficult plant, I'll tell you. Um, so far, it seems easy. That's all I'll say. I don't want to jinx it, but it seems easy so far. Okay, I think this is the last plant. It is a bit of a smaller haul today, but I want to show you a plant that I believe I've had through my door before. And I think it was literally when I launched the shop. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I did. Not precisely this form of it or type of it, but I think I did. And I think I couldn't send it out. I remember it died. That's how I remember I had it. I'm pretty sure it was this plant, but I want to show you this because it's very, very sexy. And if you are into long boys and if you are into narrow boys, you're going to love this plant. Are you ready for this? So this here is Anthurium pallidiflorum narrow, or super narrow actually, because you could probably tell how narrow this actually is. Now I think I have some babies as well, which I'm not going to bother showing you because it's just this but smaller. Um, and I have this one. Do I have at least one baby, maybe two babies there? That one's a different type. Yeah, call it two babies plus this one. And this one is still small, but I gotta show you how good this is. A bit of damage on this leaf here if you see it. Um, but look at how narrow this is. Like I've got reasonably small hands, but that's how narrow it is compared to my hand like that. If I put it next to my face, you can get a good measure as to how narrow this is as well. It's dripping everywhere. Can you see it? They look absolutely fantastic when they're mature, so I suggest you Google it. And it has, it's can imagine a Vitari folium, just as sturdy as that, but this does have a velvet or a suede texture over the top of it. So most of the, most of it's the same, really. I would almost say it was the same 
as a Vitari Folium, just this one is leathery. I'd pretty much say this was the same as a Vitari Folium, just this one has suede over the top. Most people would say velvet, by the way. I just think that an Anthurium's version of velvet isn't velvet, it's suede just doesn't feel the same. But how pretty is that though? And it does actually have new growth coming in. I think it has two growing in. Either that or that was a flower, it's hard to tell. I'll show you him up close again because he is very, very pretty. Apologies for not having the absolute best of show because I don't have my camera monitor and I can't really see what I'm doing. I have like my camera maybe two meters away from me and the little viewfinder is like this big and I can't see what's going on. So I can only assume it's focusing, but that is him. Again, picked it up on a whim, always wanted one. It's getting to the point now where I'm so full up. If I want to try out a plant, I'm not really buying eight of them anymore. I'm buying much less because oh, I just don't have the room. Like, this is so overgrown. I, you wouldn't believe me if I told you how overgrown this was. But yeah, really, really happy to have him. He hasn't dropped a leaf. These three leaves were the leaves he came with. So, so far, so good. He's been here a week. Obviously, he's sat in a reasonably warm place. I wouldn't say it was super warm in here. It's maybe about 23 degrees right now. It's cooled down a bit and we're in probably about 85% humidity so that's him and he hasn't tanked um so i guess fingers crossed we'll see how he does but he's very very pretty though is he not like i think a lot of people would be after that if you imagine that as a fuller plant oh that'd be really pretty wouldn't it wouldn't it just and that concludes this week's plant haul. Now, I have a few other things that I've brought in very recently. Nothing to do with this. I actually have some Syngonium and a few other things I've brought in. But I didn't want to put it in this haul because I felt like as soon as I put these plants down on the floor, they had a theme to them and it was very obvious. So I've kept these plants for this haul. And then in a little while, I will show you the other plants that go into the other haul. E.g. the Syngonium, the Philodendron, the whatever. Um, this was just... You could really see a pattern here, which was accidental, by the way. I don't think I meant to buy this many long boys, but it's happened. So we'll see how it goes with all of those. Thank you very much for watching this week. Um, thank you for sticking with me through once again, busyness and just sheer, just disarray really is how I would describe it at the minute. Hopefully in a couple of weeks, things should settle down. I'm just going through a bit of a change at the minute, a bit of a turbulent time. So thank you very much for watching. As I mentioned at the start of the video, my merch is in the description if you'd like to check that out. And I will see you in my next video next week. Bye guys.